hello guys i welcome you all to my youtube channel and today we're going to learn about web scraping so web scraping is the part of data exploration and data collection in machine learning pipeline and these two data collection and data exploration is one of the most important parts of machine learning pipeline as totally it's uh, your machine learning model needs some data to feed in and to learn from it and to mimic the behavior and that data comes from this web scrapping right uh, if you participate in Kaggle challenges then you are already given some data but if you are participating in some real life projects or if you are doing some projects for a company then you need to gather the data and that takes almost very much of time of that uh, total project duration so web scraping is one of uh, the most use case uh, skill of a data scientist is so we, today we're going to learn about how we can uh, scrap some of the uh, complex uh, sites and also what we need to learn along with the web scrapping to uh, represent their data like pandas library in, uh, so we can uh, scrap the data uh, put it in the data frame and can use it for anything like for visualization for training our model and we can also share the raw data right so the Libraries I'll be using is is the request library and the second one is beautiful soup request would be to uh, extract the um, HTML data of the web page. So today I'm gonna scrap the IMDB site So this is the site I'll be scrapping. So I, I have IMDB top hundred uh, top thousand movies So in that uh, the uh, Soshank Redemption the Godfather Dil Bechara and uh, many other movies right and if you see the elements page then you can see that uh, if i go here right so yeah this is the whole class this is the whole class of all the movies and if you go particularly on this you are on the social redemption and if you go you are on godfather and if you go it on this you are on the Bechara. so with the help of this markup language uh, we're gonna um, extract the useful information so first let's see what are the useful information i want to extract i need the name of the movie i need year at which it is released i need imdb uh, ratings uh, I want to get meta score. I want to get the number of votes that movie particularly got and I want also uh, I think all these three information are pretty Good enough to start with the web scrapping, right? So let's first start with importing the library that is uh, from requests import get and Okay, now what we'll do HTM, uh, let's do it request equals to get and we'll give the URL of that particular patch, right? Just name it URL. And if you go it like this, now it's fetching the data. And now, if I do uh, request equals to URL dot text request now as you can see this is the markup language the whole markup language we have to extract the information from this language right so for that I'll be importing beautiful soup from ps4 import beautiful soup is soup this is the beautiful soup library I imported from BS4. BS4 is beautiful soup version 4. Right now, I soup data. I'm making a variable that will store the data and it would be soup. And the request that is HTML code request command here will give the HTML parser HTML dot parser. Right. So, this is the soup data right now what the soup data is if i do soup data dot title 
and dot text now as you can see this is the heading of our uh, web pages and we got it in the title class right now I don't need the title for now I need the movie name uh, year rating meta score and number of votes right for that what I will doing first I'll be going to this particular class this class so I'm just copying this class and what I will do I will get movies is equal to soup data soup data dot find all it will give the old movies name and here what was the um, element it was division so division and uh, here I will give the class that was copied earlier by me it is right so movies okay uh, this contains the information of all the movies if I go in the zeroth now this contains the information for the first movie that was so sent redemption right now what I need out of it now a particular have this part right first for the so shank reduction now I need so if as you can see if you go in particular this you can get the image URL you can also download the image from this URL right but I don't need the image right now I need uh, the heading so I think the heading would be in this part so it is in h3 tag right so I just do it there are two ways to get uh, this one so I'll just name first movie to be movie zero so I have the first movie here in, in it so what I will do dot h3 I think it was yeah h3 and as you can see if I get uh, I need this right so if I do dot a dot text so I got the title of the movie name of the movie right so this is name of the movie right so what I will do I'll just show you how I'm getting for the first movie and then we'll loop around the movies and getting the same things and we'll be storing those old things into the data frame right now we got the name now I want the year at so okay this was the one way of getting the name of the movie another way I will show by getting the year at which it was released that was sorry uh, h3 tag it was in dot h3 now you can see that uh, it is in span element but the thing is there are two span elements so what I can do I can just directly uh, try to get this class for that uh, what I can do is first movie dot find and uh, it is a span right and also can go for class that is that is this one right this one is the class and I'll go for text and I'll get from one to five yeah I got the year right now I, what I want next I want the IMDB rating that I will go to, that I will get from here let me see let me see yeah this one so from rating bar or I can directly get it from here this class right so what I can do I can just directly go copy this I'll copy this and just remove this part what was the class name it was inline and division element right division so this is it and if you get the data value which you can see here data value 
we got the rating right now if i go for what the next thing is meta score that is stored somewhere in this class only i think yeah so here it is meta score that is in this class right so what i will do i'll just copy the same thing and uh, instead of this class name i'll change it to this and uh, out of this i will get the dot span dot text so you know there is no traditional method to extract the data you just need to uh, observe the html code and based on that you need to extract the data right we got the meta score also here now last thing we need to get is number of words that i can get from i think from here and in this this is the number of words right so yeah it's bit different instead of class it's a name so no worries we'll go for that what i will do i'll just copy this part right and that was span i think and instead of class we have was it span uh, wait 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 was yeah span and instead of class we have name nv right okay 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 perfect 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 we have name that is nv and we'll have the data value now you can see we got the number of words right so we got everything for the first movie now we can do the same for every movie by iterating for i in movies and here i will define everything like name it is a list yeah it is a and we have year it will also be a list right it is a list we have uh, rating it is a list now we'll have meta score meta score it will be a list right now we'll have mm, what we'll have next that is votes right now in the movies part what i will do i just name i will just copy everything so this is the so name dot append this one and instead of first movie i'm naming it i right here dot append what i'll do i'll just copy this whole thing and do it in the append part and instead of first movie i'll name it i right and now rating what i'll do dot append dot append this one Now I did the same thing which I have done for the first movie to the whole movies right here, like meta score and votes and all. And now I just uh, zip all the list so that I can pass it to the uh, pandas data frame and I explicitly define the column names. Now after running all these things, if I see data dot head, now as you can see. This is what I got in the in response of a data frame. Now you can use this data in your machine learning model or for analysis of the data or data visualization. That's all from web scraping. Thank you so much. Hope you learned from this video. And if you feel encounter any problem, do comment below and I will check it uh, as soon as possible. Thank you so much.